In this lecture, we'll learn about the scroll spy component. The scroll spy component is used to automatically update navigation targets based on scroll position. The scroll spy component requires the bootstrap nav component for proper highlighting of active links, so we start with creating that. We'll create an unordered list with the classes nav and nav tabs. Inside the list, we'll create a list item with the class nav item. Inside the list item, we'll create a link with the class nav link and the text first section. With this link, we want to jump down to a specific section of the text. In order to do so, we will set the href attribute to section first. We'll now duplicate this link two times and change the href attribute and the text accordingly. Now we'll build three long sections. We'll start with a wrapping div container with the corresponding ID section first. Inside this, we'll add some paragraphs with lorem ipsum text. We'll duplicate two times and change the ID accordingly. Now we have a regular and working nav component on which we want to use the scroll spy component. We want to spy on our body, so we'll add the data spy attribute with the value of scroll. and the data target attribute with the value nav scroll spy. We also need to add the corresponding ID nav scroll spy to the parent element of our nav component. Now we only need to use relative positioning on the element which we are spying on, which in our case is the body. I already added that in our custom styling, as well as some width and padding top to better see this example. The last thing we want to do is to add the position utility class fixed top to the parent element of our nav component. Now we're ready to see this in action in the browser. When we scroll down, we can see the different navigation tabs being highlighted when scrolling over the corresponding sections. For this example, we use data attributes, but we can also call the scroll spy with JavaScript and jQuery. To do this, we will attach the scroll file handler to our body element and pass in some options as an object. This object will have the key target with the value nav scroll spy. 
Now we just need to remove our data attributes from the body tag and then we are ready to look at it in the browser. As we can see, this is still working in the exact same way. We have now learned how to use the scroll spike component to automatically update navigation targets based on scroll position. Go on and continue with the coding exercise, which will help you learn the correct structure for this component. In the next lecture, we will learn how to create and use the tooltip component.